we are in the hospital again. We got some blood tests done today and the numbers came back that their hemoglobin was pretty low. So came to the hospital and thank God we did because turns out Harry's hemoglobin counts had dropped drastically from Monday from a six to a 4.3, I believe. We spent like six hours in the emergency room, which was ridiculous. But finally we got up here to the pediatric unit and um, they've been really great. So we're trying to get an IV line into Max's arm. We already got the IV lines into Harry's. Um, it's two in the morning. We've been here since I think six, 6.30, 6.30, something like that. Anyways, I need to lay down for a second, get a little bit of sleep. I am literally exhausted. Paul Fry is going to say how much I haven't eaten since like we left 5.30. So I'm starving. And I need to pump really bad too, but we'll see what happens. Good morning, 8.30 in the morning. They had blood transfusions last night. Their color is looking much, much better. I would have filmed, but I was exhausted after being in the emergency room for six hours. It was horrible but when we, once we got upstairs it turned out to be really nice we're on the pediatrics unit of the hospital we each slept here had a little bed so I slept in with Harrison and Gorin slept in with Max we're gonna order some breakfast now I just had to pump I hadn't pumped in like 14 hours so I was just so tired and stressed and I didn't have my pump for the first you know 10 or 8 whatever so I just pumped a ton of milk I need to get back on my two and a half hour schedule for that so just spoke with the hematologist and he is optimistic. We're going to test both of the boys' blood again between noon and one and see how their hemoglobin counts do. And then observe them and probably test them a few hours after that just to make sure it's holding. Might be able to bring them home tonight. And then what we're gonna do is have a standing CBC order to get their blood checked at the hospital near our house. And, um, That'll be great. So we'll go on Monday, get their blood tested. Probably have to go on Thanksgiving, get their blood tested, so on and so forth, just to make sure their levels are holding for the next four weeks. Um, and then the doctor was talking about how there is a natural dip in hemoglobin uh, production at around six weeks. Um, that's just kind of a natural part of life. So we also have to um, be cognizant of that and make sure that, you know, it's, we're, is that when that drop happens that we're not like, oh, is that from the RH incompatibility or is that from the, um, you know, natural kind of flow of life for a newborn? So I think little Harry is waking up. I'm going to give him a feed. Corn was just over here. He's going to feed Max. And then hopefully it's about 1130. We'll be getting those blood tests soon. All right. Sleeping like a baby. He took another 20 milliliters of formula putting him up to about 48 milliliters for the past hour and he had another wet diaper at 19 grams i'm gonna go over and see what goran and max are up to now so we're waiting for the blood test to come back Hopefully they'll be back soon. We went and got some Panera for lunch and it was delightful. I had a mitten cookie. I think we got another hour so we have to feed the boys again. So it's really just, just a waiting game at this point. Getting a pump session in. So we got an update on Harrison's numbers. His hemoglobin count has gone up to 7.4 from the 4.3 it was earlier today but the hematologist wants it to be over eight or at least at eight. So we're gonna give him some more blood. It looks like Max is not going to need any more blood. All right, so baby boy's got his blood. We're doing 27 milliliters. So yeah, it's going to take about three hours to transfuse 27 milliliters blood. So nine milliliters, hello, milliliters. We're gonna redraw at 9 p.m. Oh, okay, great. Nine milliliters of blood per hour, and then we are going to retest at 9 p.m. to see if his levels are above eight. That is the most important thing. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna lay down, watch Ghostbusters 2, and take a little power nap. Hi, my dog. Baby. Baby, 
You can't eat until the nurses come back, okay? Look at how rosy-cheeked you are now. Look at you. You're doing really well. It's got 0.13 milliliters left, so it's almost done. He's looking very alert, much more pink in the face. That's good. And he just ate 41 milliliters of formula. Infusion complete. All right, got another pump in. I think we're gonna go get some food. Just had a shift change. And I don't know, it's not looking like we're gonna be going home tonight. I think we're gonna be staying another night in the hospital. I know Harry's gotta get another blood test here in the next few hours, but Max's numbers are increased, but we haven't heard anything about him going home. So I'm assuming that he's not. There is a Panera downstairs at this hospital. Uh, we're gonna go do the actual full Panera now, get some dinner and then continue the waiting game. So they just took Max's blood. They're going to test it for hemoglobin just to kind of see what's going on. He seems to be a lot more vigorous and active and very hungry, so that's a plus. He ate another 15 milliliters before we went down to Panera, and he's crushing this bottle now. And it's only been two and a half hours since his last big feed, so that's good. He's coming back to life. We're definitely staying the night here tonight, so we're going to just keep the same room set up. I'll stay with Harry, and Gorn will stay with Max. Uh, and we'll just play it by ear. What are you doing? Stop recording. I like recording you. You like that you have these videos when they're older. Well, it is almost midnight. We have made it to the end of our second day in the hospital. Well, no, this is the second night. Um, I talked to the nurse and Harry's hemoglobin count is up to 10.5. So that's excellent. Tomorrow morning, we will have both boys have another blood draw, kind of see what their numbers have stabilized to. And then um, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be going home. The hematologist gave us a standing CBC order so that we can go to the hospital twice or three times a week and just get their blood drawn so we can see where their levels are. <clears throat> so we'll start doing that. Um, next week and I need to do a weekly check-in at the pediatrician as well. So I should probably make those phone calls. Anywho, I'm just about ready to wake up Harry for his midnight feeding and change him. And then I'm going to go to sleep until his three-ish AM feeding. So I will be back with you guys tomorrow. It's 6.45 in the morning. Harry's been doing really well overnight. He's been eating a lot more. He's up to almost two ounces, which is great because two days ago, he was only eating like 30 milliliters at a feeding and was very lethargic. So blood transfusion is definitely working. They just came in and did another blood draw. Test his levels again. Make sure the hemoglobin levels are holding at 10.5 or had only dropped a little bit. Fingers crossed that we can go home today. Uh, I mean, I'm glad that they're here and getting the help that they need, but sleeping at the hospital sucks. <sighs> God. All right, he's got another feeding at eight, so I'm gonna try to sleep for another hour and a half and uh, give him a feeding and then probably go right back to sleep. This, you know, newborn, uh, Newborn feeding intervals are, are uh, pretty uh, treacherous. <laughs> Only getting an hour and a half of sleep at a time, if you're lucky. But it is what it is. <sighs> Great news. Boys are both being discharged today. Their hemoglobin counts are looking great and actually going up a little bit, so that's a plus. So we're going to be out of here in the next couple of hours. Yeah. We get him home. Gotta get mommy and daddy some good sleep. Whew. Yeah. 
So I think I'm going to end this update video there. If you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit subscribe so that you can follow our little journey. All right, we will uh, see you very soon.